we're part of this global trend towards uh, digital transformation and our customers um, are demanding it. So uh, we're certainly complying and I think we have some really good ideas in terms of where we can bring this. You told me a little bit about the transformation of thinking capital over the past couple of years and how it's become an end-to-end digital lender. If you don't mind elaborating on that and perhaps tying it into why that's necessary right now. Like anything else, uh, industries evolve and sometimes it takes another leap uh, towards technology. And, uh, you know, it's not again, just in the space that we're in, but in various organizations or various industries, you can see a similar uh, growth pattern as it relates to adopting uh, new technology. And I think in our circumstance, we had a view towards where we were going in the first place. We had an idea of kind of uh, a destination uh, as it relates to providing an end-to-end experience where uh, small, medium businesses, and the thing to note here is small, medium businesses also have very similar behavior sometimes as consumers. So although we're B2B, there's a lot of commonality here in terms of how we approach the market and how customers adopt technologies like ours from a consumer perspective. So it made sense with everything that's been happening, of course, uh, not since the last 10 years or so, the last 20, 30 years, that you know, we find more efficient ways to basically deploy our services. And um, you know, thinking capital, even prior to this transformation, had part of its model that was digital. I mean, we went out and sourced opportunity, made customers aware of who we were through digital means. And under those circumstances, at the time, a couple of years back, people would, would basically start an application process uh, with us online. Uh, but that being said, it still is a very manual process on the back end. And I would say, hey, we're getting to the end-to-end digital experience soon. We're not fully there yet. But what we've done is basically look at different steps in that process. So it's not all about just making yourself aware or making your product aware to different customers out there, but also have them start the application process, go through some processes that normally we would have basically managed more manually. Customers can choose their bank account, for instance and provide some additional information that helps facilitate the underwriting process. And we're slowly but surely starting to adjudicate more online. And there are components through our risk rules that we can apply and provide an offer, a pre-approved offer to customers that in our case right now gets reviewed from a manual perspective. But slowly but surely, I can see a day where we have some sort of express adjudication that's taking place as well. All this with the value proposition that if you're, you know, we talked a bit about access to capital And the timeliness, if you can provide a more rich uh, digital experience, you can get customers through that funnel much more efficiently and much more in a timely manner than what you might have been able to do in the past. So that's the goal. It's all about basically doubling down, double clicking on our value proposition and getting better at what we're doing to service our customers. And we believe providing better services more customer service, even through the digital funnel, uh, allowing customers to pick and choose how they interact with us. All those aspects lead to a better value proposition for us overall. And that's what we're doubling down on at this stage of the game. We still have some room to improve and we're going to do things on that front, but that's part of the process, part of the reason for this transformation. That being said, there's also other elements that are coming into play. We're, I think the last time we spoke, we talked a bit about the onset of what we're trying to do with uh, insights and providing much more cash flow information to customers. And this is also part of it. As you come in and you connect your bank, for instance, we can feed you some insights and some information that can be very valuable to you in terms of helping you manage your business. So we're part of this global trend towards uh, digital transformation and our customers um, are demanding it. So uh, we're certainly complying. And I think we have some really good ideas in terms of where we can bring this.